Hey guys, it's Rosie, and you're listening to the Revolution Podcast with Rosie Revolts. Welcome to the first official episode. Today I'm going to be introducing myself and talking about some of my goals, so let's get into it. I run the YouTube channel Rosie Revolts, where I try to post my own unique perspective and content on all main main platforms. I'm currently a freshman in high school. In this podcast, in future episodes, I'd like to share my experience trying to balance school, extracurricular activities, and content creation. I currently attend public school and take a few online classes along with that. Uh, I love to transition to a fully online program in the future because I love to travel. A lot of the content on my main channel um, relates to my travels, but I also like to make a lot of content about sports and other things, like trying to check things off my bucket list. I'm the type of person with an ever-growing bucket list, and I love to share that with my followers. Back to travel, I have a hard time staying in one place for a long time, which is why I took the second half of the school year off last year, and I took it online and we traveled. I won't get too deep into that right now, but I'd love to talk about it in a future episode. My favorite cities in the world are Paris, New York City, and San Francisco, all of which I'd love to spend more time in. Um, I try to travel once a month at least because it keeps me sane while I have to stay at home and go to school. I love adventures and I'm very spontaneous, therefore road trips are one of my favorite things. Moving on from travel, but definitely more into adventure... I love going hiking with my family, and I've been hiking since I was three years old. Because I have so much experience with the outdoors, I wrote a book, which I have just published last year, called Get Outdoors, Memories of a Childhood Spent in the Woods. This book is all about how to spend more time outdoors safely, and how to hike, cook, play games, camp, and many other things outdoors. I wrote this book to get my Girl Scout Silver Award, and I'm now working to achieve my Gold Award. I've hiked all 67 4,000 foot mountains in New England, and I finished the list on my ninth birthday, making me one of the youngest kids to ever complete it. After that, my family had to take several years off hiking due to injuries, but we're back now, working on hiking the New Hampshire 4,000 footers, of which there are 48 in the winter. We're a bit over halfway through that, but we are also working on hiking the New England 100 highest mountains. We're on the home stretch to complete those, which I'm super excited about. We've hiked 95 of those mountains, and I hope to be able to finish them sometime in 2020. I also really like to vlog my hiking experiences, so if you want to see some hiking videos, check out my channel. I like to post a lot of the 100 highest on there. Um, I do a lot of other sports, like mountain biking, volleyball, horseback riding, and softball. On my YouTube channel, I enjoy making video about videos about sports that I play, primarily about softball. Um, A cool fact about me is that I have pet chickens, seven of them right now to be exact, Um, and I love when they make um, appearances in some of my vlogs. I love playing with them, and they serve as great entertainment. Sadly, I don't have any other pets because of um, my family's allergies, but someday I love to have a dog and maybe a few horses. I love horseback riding. I ride English, hunter, and have been riding since I was little, but taking lessons for about three or four years now. I also play softball, like I mentioned. I mainly play third base, but also sometimes I play outfield. I've been playing softball ever since I could hold a bat. I started out with t-ball, then played baseball, and then switched to softball. I've always loved softball and even played when I had a growth weight issue in my heels and could barely run, so I had to have a pinch runner sometimes. Um, Also... This year's softball season has been canceled due to coronavirus, which I'm very sad about. But speaking of pain, which is not a very nice topic, but it's kind of one thing that is really prominent in my life. Not pain, but just this. Um, This past summer, I had my first kidney stone and had another one a few months later. So if you'd like, I can talk about that in another episode. But basically, I've had a complete lifestyle change since then. And it's been all over my channel. Um, I had to change my diet along with my amount of water intake. I've been eating gluten-free for over seven years and now have to eat crazy new diet with many more restrictions because of my kidney stones, but I'll talk about that more later if you guys want. Another thing that you should know about me is I'm completely obsessed with music. Although it hasn't made it to my YouTube channel yet, I'm constantly listening to or playing music. 
one of my goals in the future is to write and produce a song of my own. I've written many songs, but I've never felt confident enough in them to actually share them with my audience. Also, I'm not the best at singing, so the goal will have to wait. I play many instruments. I've been playing flute and piccolo in my school band for five years, I think, and have been playing ukulele for about the same amount of time. More recently, I've found that I have a passion for playing guitar. Um, because of social distancing right now, I've had enough time to play guitar every day, which I really enjoy. When I'm not playing music, I usually listen to it, and I listen to a wide range of music. I do like to listen to popular songs sometimes, but I also love listening to classic rock and music that has fewer synthesizers and more guitars. I love to listen to Shawn Mendes, Queen, and a bunch more assorted artists. I love trying to play songs by these artists on my guitar. Um, another thing that I have a passion for is photography, videography, and content creation in general. This is probably why I'm able to keep up posting twice a week on YouTube and um, is the reason I started my YouTube channel in the first place. So speaking of twice a week, I post on Tuesdays and Saturdays and I'm going to try my absolute best to be posting on um, my podcast on Thursdays. So make sure to come back every Thursday to listen to this. Before, I mentioned that I have a few goals, like finishing hiking the 100 highest mountains in New England, working on my gold award in Girl Scouts, which I'm going to be writing a book where I interview um, people that inspire girls. So I'm going to be asking a whole bunch of young girls who inspires them and then trying to interview those women. Um, and then I also have the goal of writing and recording my own song, like I said. Um, I like to set lots of goals, both short-term and long-term, to keep myself motivated. I have so many smaller goals with school and sports, but I like to focus on some larger goals that I've been working towards for a while. I'll start with channel goals. Um, my first channel goal is to reach 1,000 followers on any platform, and I know that sounds pretty small, um, but there's so much noise on the internet that's really hard to find your target audience with at first, and I have had a channel for over a year now but I'm just reaching about a hundred subscribers right now so I've been really trying to find my target audience and it's starting to pick up a little bit now but it really does take a while to find your first solid base. Um, another one of my channel goals is to start a podcast so I'm very excited to be doing that right now. Um, another one of my channel goals is to post at least um, to post on social media every day, like on different platforms. So I've been keeping track and been doing pretty well this year because I have a um, content journal. I love bullet journaling. So I have my own bullet journal and then my content journal and I keep track of a bunch of things in there, video ideas, um, just when I post um, layouts of videos, podcasts, stuff like that. So um, although it's gotten a lot harder to post twice a day um, while we're stuck at home to come up with engaging content consistently, I'd love to have my first brand partnership also, but that goes along with all my other goals being consistent and growing more of a platform. Um, I like to keep track of steps to get, goal to, get to my goals also, so um, in my journal I have steps to complete each goal and most of them are just being consistent and trying to come up with great video ideas um, but though I always find that being very helpful to track the steps to my goals so a more long-term goal that I have is I'd love to get into acting because I've always loved it but I've only ever done live acting so I like to try something on film also maybe someday I'd like to try modeling but I'm not completely committed to that goal let me know what you your goals are by commenting on any of my posts on my social media. All of them are at Rosie Revolts, so be sure to follow me on all major platforms. Um, and yeah, thank you guys so much for listening. I'm sorry this was short, but I'm really trying to get into the solo podcasting thing. It is really hard to talk by myself about a topic without having someone to ping off of. So um, one of my goals also with podcasting is going to be... Um, to do my best to make engaging content by myself podcasting so I hope I will be able to make these longer and have more interesting stuff to talk about but I hope you learned um, enough about me I feel like you know me a little bit so make sure to check out my youtube channel too um, 
to learn a bit more about me and um thank you guys so much for listening i will see you guys later bye